Hello, my name is Sydney Germanio. I am Director of Family Services at Salvation Army Syracuse Area Services. 2020 has been a epic year in many ways. One of the things that I think is often overlooked is um, the psychological impact of disaster. Our world has been inundated um, every day in the news and media. We're faced with the medical impact of this year's pandemic. And although that's significant, I don't think we've really even dabbed a pinky toe into what the psychological impact is gonna be. And that's really what my department has dealt with for the past year. Family Services deals with families with a continuum of need. Um, and for us, 2020 has been a wonderful opportunity to sort of break through constraints and just embrace flexibility. Um, you know, you can imagine how difficult isolation and um, you know, fear and uh, medical risk facing, you know, you and your family might be every day. However, if you think about going through those same life experiences, remote learning, isolation, um, lack of social connection, fear, not knowing what's gonna be around the corner, but add on to that multiple other risk factors, poverty, um, maybe your children were just removed and you haven't seen them for you know a month and you have no idea when you're gonna see them again. Um, think about you know what it would be like to be really in in the beginning steps of recovery or battling substance abuse in this pandemic and that's really what we've seen um, one of the benefits i guess of um, the pandemic has been that uh, staff have been encouraged to be wearing 12 hats at once and so you know normally it's like five or six hats that we're wearing <laughs> but with funding constraints and with people on quarantine and in and out it's like everybody's doing everything all the time and um there's a family in particular that um we were able to work with a mom who uh, had her children removed and didn't get to see them for four months because family court was closed because all visitation was being done on zoom and this mom had significant substance abuse history significant mental health and um, my staff member who I had the privilege of directly supervising which is not typical um, was able to just show up and freeze his tail off on the front porch and just it sort of brings me back to the historical tradition of donuts and Salvation Army and just the practice of sort of sitting alongside someone even when we can't sort of wave the magic wand and make it all go away um, you know I think prior to, you know, having all the policies and procedures that sort of support the world to get back to normal now, that we were sort of front runners in that and figured out how to keep our staff safe and how to have some human contact in the middle of all of this. And, um, you know, I really saw people dance on their heads and, you know, bend over backwards and do cartwheels just to have some humanity within all this. And so the psychological impact of this disaster will be long lasting. And, you know, I think it's touched every generation in significant ways, but the only way out of that is relationship and connection. And that's what I feel like my department has able to bring and it's not enough it never is um, but it's it's more than would be there if not for those staff members for those people and you know i just think the world moves in quarter inches so you know maybe we didn't again wave that magic wand and no one can make the pandemic go away but i think working into 2021 we've built a foundation of credibility and relationships relationship with the community to know that, you know, we're going to show up and we're going to keep you safe and we're going to keep us safe, but we're going to stay engaged. And, you know, we're sort of in this together in a way that is, you know, meaningful when the bottom falls out and everything else that that's sometimes all you have left. And so, you know, 
2021 hopefully will bring more flexibility and we'll be able to continue to see people in different modalities and sort of resume some of services as, as usual. However, you know, what you can have all the services in the world and if you don't have that piece of humanity, which we've sort of established throughout this, then it kind of doesn't matter. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to going into 2021 with that as our anchor.